Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to show how I can use iMates to speed up a repetitive assembly task that I encountered inside of Autodesk Inventor. Looking at my screen, I have the lower table for a small end table that I was designing inside of Inventor, and one of the things I need to do is place four dowels in each one of the legs. Well, if I zoom in, I've got one of the dowels on my screen here, and as we look at it, we can see it's got a chamfer of one side to make it easier to press into the hole. The other side is flat, and that represents the side that's going to be sanded flush with the surface of the table. Now, in practice, this is probably more detail than is necessary, but it's an example, so just go with me on it, okay? Anyway, the way I would go ahead and put this in normally is I'll create a constraint, and using insert, pick one end, and then the hole it's going into, and then make sure to flip that over, and then I have my dowel going in flush. Now I have to do that 15 more times, so even though it doesn't take very long, it's still going to take a little bit of time. And then again, I may want to do this later on on future projects, so why don't we make this a little bit easier? I'm going to take this dowel then, and I'm going to right click, and I'm just going to open it up inside its own file, and I'm going to go to the Manage tab, where I have this iMate icon right here, and I'm going to select that. When I select that, I get the assembly constraint dialog box, but it's only got one button right now, so only half the solution. But other than that, it works the same. So what I'll do is I'll choose insert, pick the end where I want the insert, and build in my flip uh, choice right here, and hit OK. I can save that, and let's close it and return back to the top level model I was working on before. With that closed, I now have that uh, dowel, and when I select, we can see that I get this glyph right here, and that represents my constraint. So now what I can do is I can hold down the Alt key, left click, and drag it to the hole I want to place it in, and then let go of the left mouse button. It'll snap into place, complete with the solution, the flip, and everything. Then I can just go ahead and place as many copies as I need, Use that Alt left click on the glyph method again, and just keep doing that, and you can see how much faster it is to place these guys in. I don't have to open up the constraint dialog box, I don't have the flip option to worry about. It's just a couple of drags and drops. And I could just continue to do that for the rest of my assembly. Not only that, when I have another assembly that comes up later on, because I know I'm going to use these again, then I can go ahead and use it there too. I don't have to remember anything or place anything. You'll even notice it makes it a little bit easier from the perspective of not having to zoom in as much, especially when I've got a particular end I'm worried about. Simple, but something simple you can really take advantage of. That's it for this video. Take a look at iMates, everyone. See you next time.